Hi guys, today we are finally doing what I keep promising, which is a little bit of a tour of my Christmas decorations. Let's go start by the front door. Before we get started on the decor, I'll show you my outfit because I felt like getting festive <laughs> since this is as close as I'll be getting to having people over this Christmas. So you are my people. Thank you for coming over. And I got a little bit dolled up just to feel happier and Christmasier. Isn't this brooch cute? This is from Amazon. This green dress is from Amazon. It's really simple. Um, and then I have a crinoline underneath, so it's like super flowy and swishy. Sorry, I really don't have a good way to show you my whole outfit. And then I'm going to put on a hostess apron because I am hostessing you. <laughs> and I find I think vintage aprons are so cute. And look at this one. I just, I can't get enough of like cute, old tiny Santas. Okay, now that we've taken care of important business. <laughs> so cute. Um, let's do the house tour, starting right here at the front door. So I always like to put a little effort right when you come in, so there's sort of an immediate impact for whatever season it is. So for me, a big thing is scent. And the scentscape when you first come into this area is peppermint. I have this twisted peppermint candle from Bath Body Works. It smells so good. I keep it with the lid off and it smells amazing even when it's not lit. So as soon as I come in the door, I always smell that. And this candle is Christmas tree scent. So I didn't light it so it wouldn't compete, but I thought it was really pretty with the mercury glass. I also have this really pretty um, like bottle brush style tree I got a long time ago at Michael's. And this is one of my favorite pieces. This is from Lowe's, I believe, of all places. And it's just the cutest, happiest pink reindeer. And I also have some mistletoe on the door, so we always can have an excuse to kiss hello and goodbye. And then here is a wreath that I made last year. I don't know if some of you guys might remember it. So easy to make wreaths like this. I had a wreath making party with my friend and we both had so much fun. I wish I could do that again this year, <laughs> but Basically, I just took a foam wreath and I wrapped it in a tinsel garland and then glued all these ornaments on. And it also has twinkle lights, but they are out of batteries. So it's not lit up right now, but it's just hanging here. It makes me really happy and so cute and festive. And then coming from here into the house, this is kind of my favorite spot right here. I have a poinsettia down there. He's not too happy at the moment. I'm trying to perk him back up. And then I have this whole situation. This right here is like my favorite view in my apartment. Well, I mean, no, that's my favorite view, but this little nook right here just makes me so happy. So if you guys saw our kitchen video, you know we just got this piece and I was so excited to decorate it for Christmas because I never really had that much decorating real estate right by the door. So I was so happy to play with that. And then the other thing I really, really wanted this year was an old school aluminum Christmas tree. So let's start there. I hunted and hunted to find a true vintage tree. I thought that'd be so cool, like just like grandma had, um, but they are expensive and they're not in very good shape. So ultimately I got this one on Amazon. Um, so it is a reproduction. Has a cute little tree skirt down there from Target. I also got the color wheel on Amazon. So if you're not familiar, this is like really old school and instead of putting lights on it the color wheel spins and lights up the tree and I don't have the color wheel in the best position because this is like a kind of a tight spot in our house like we always walk through here but it's enough that when the lights are off the tree glows different colors so I think that's so cute and then I have a bunch of these metal ornaments shiny glass ornaments um, None of them are true vintage. Again, like if they break, if somebody bumps into this on their way past, I would be so sad. So these are all reproductions, but Shiny Bright is like the classic ornament line and they still make things. So these are Shiny Bright ornaments, except for some of them are like, this is plastic from Target. <laughs> but I just think these still look really cute. I love the shape. And this is a Shiny Bright tree topper, which I just, I love. You guys know I'm a sucker for any Christmas thing that has pink. So this tree with its pastel pinks just makes my heart 
sing so much. Like, look at this little hot air balloon Santa. I love him. I can't remember where I got him. But in general, I just tried to put some kind of like a fun array of art ornaments on here. Like, these are the ones we got in Palm Springs. And I just think it's so cute. It makes me so happy. And it's so extra to have two Christmas trees in the main part of our apartment, but I love it. And then on top of this credenza, I put some fake snow because obviously I have my record player over here along with all of my Christmas records so I can easily bust these out. This one's probably my favorite, so pretty, Julie Andrews. Although I also love this old Bing Crosby. So I like to listen to Christmas records, have my little swell Christmas sign out. This is a cocktail shaker, but I decided he could stay. <laughs> and then this is my greatest joy. Like, I just absolutely love this. I always wanted to have a display of little putts houses. Um, like, you can make them yourself and paint them yourself, and there's so many DIY options. There's so many places to get them. It's a little bit overwhelming. So this is the first year I finally have some, and they are just so cute. I want to just move into this little neighborhood right here on my own credenza. <laughs> but this one is the specialist, most special of all. <sighs> Look at that pink roof. Look how it lights up. Look at the pink door with the wreath. So adorable. So that one was a gift, and then I got this one so that my little houses could be neighbors. Look at this. Look at the lights. So cool. And it has like a fake breeze block fence outside. I just love these. Um, they are from World Market. And then this little guy is from the 99 cent only store, but I thought it was really cute. So that is the situation there. And then going to the kitchen really quickly. First of all, in case anybody's like dying for the report, loving my kitchen that we redid. So, so happy with it. It has been doing so well. The tiles are holding up, the counters are holding up the blue appliances, everything. I'm just really in love with it still. And I will show you what we have special in here for Christmas. We have this little stocking with my initial. I have this little wreath, this candle jar. What candle is in here? I bet it is candy apple. Yep. <laughs> I haven't been lighting this one because I don't want to compete with the candle by the front door, but it's really cute when it's lit because it kind of glows. I have some cute Christmas matches. And this wallflower plug has the peppermint twist scent. So again, it's like really pepperminty in here, which I think smells nice and clean too for the kitchen. And I've been enjoying that a lot. And then right here, I have one of my Christmas mugs I really love. It's like a little camper. This is from Walmart last year, I think. And I have it filled with little peppermints. This cute green tray, I think was a 99 cent store. And again, I just have some little hard candies. I used to always see people who keep candy out and I'm like, how do you do that? Like, how does it last in your household? And I don't know about other people, but for me, I can tell you the trick is to put out candy that we don't like that much. <laughs> like, I filled these up like last month and I don't think we've made a dent <laughs> because we're not that much into like hard candies, but that way they look cute and I'm not getting like a bunch of extra sugar every time I walk past. So then in the kitchen for my current cleaning scent, I have the Myers Peppermint. I love this one. It smells so good. It goes so well with those candles I was talking about. And the packaging, pink and red. My absolute favorite Christmas combo, my, my absolute favorite ever combo pretty much, except for like pink and teal. So I just, I love this. It makes me so happy to have those scents in here. And people always ask about this. This is a dish brush holder from Target forever ago. It's OXO brand. Then we have the Myers Peppermint Hand Soap and a Twisted Peppermint Lotion so I can wash and moisturize because <laughs> we're doing a lot of washing these days. And then up here, I have my favorite Santa mug with a bunch of candy canes in it. And this is a little Christmas countdown with like a little vintage reindeer. Then there's my coffee corner. And I put a couple more Christmas touches here. I thought this was really appropriate to put by the coffee. So this is where I get my Christmas cheer. And I love this little guy so much. He makes me think of like a Santa mug, but with a bottle brush tree coming out. 
And this was from my friend Jennifer. We did Secret Santas. Well, we do Secret Santas every year in the Milk and Honey Patreon Club. So this was one of the things she sent and I just treasure it so much. And then I like to have a handmade thing right around here in my kitchen. So I have this handmade Christmas pot holder that my mom made. And it's kind of old and stained, but I just really love it so much. And then I also have this vintage Santa. And look how happy he is. I just love his little face. And I think, I guess he's a piggy bank actually, but I always bring him out to cheer us up and keep us company this time of year. And I think that's it. Oh, and this is the peppermint scent as well. And otherwise, this is just how my kitchen always is. Oh, wait, no, up here. <laughs> I also have a hot cocoa sign. So cool. And this little furry Santa, I don't remember where he's from. We've had him a long time, but these are my fridge friends. It's made with real hair. Yes, that's neat hair that we gathered. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, you gotta tell them. <laughs> just kidding. Speaking of, I need to shave. I'm glad you're here because I thought oh. you should show them your pride and joy <clears throat> over there. Oh, DC. <laughs> <laughs> DC know. is our pride and joy, that's true. You're a good boy. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you guys one of my prides and or joys. You gotta tell them where you found it. Really? Yeah. I thought we were gonna try to be like a little cooler than no, it was the okay, coolest so, find ever. So randomly one day at Goodwill, was it Goodwill? Or something one of the like thrift stores, yeah. Look at this Isn't world. It's like Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, they have those things in the window. I love how the curtains keep opening and closing, it's so cool. And then it gives you a whole new set, there's like four or five of them. I won't take you through them all, but anyway. All right, the best thrift store find ever. I'll give you a quick spin through the living room. And you guys saw we had these icicle lights up since fall. And I love them. I'm gonna show you a little later when the lights are on. It's like cozy in here. Oh, it's so nice. Go DC, go cutie. But I am just, I, I can never have enough twinkle lights, so. Love that so much. And then here we have our little romantic tablescape for two this Christmas. I always like to do red and pink, like I said. So I have my star plates. I got these on eBay. I'm not sure what brand they are. St. Nicholas Square with pink cloth napkins and little red holders. Then these are paper placemats that are the jolliest, cutest Santa ever. I love these placemats so much that my aunt got me and I just like ration them out every year. By the way, if you're hearing like little tapping sounds, it's my color wheel for my Christmas tree. I don't know if I didn't put it together very well. I had to prop it up with a candle and it makes these little like ticking sounds, but I kind of think it's charming. Anyway, so our tablescape here, I have this cute, it's just a plastic stand, but I thought it looked really pretty, like something my grandma would have had. So I have my Alexa on there. Oops, I shouldn't have said her name. Never mind. She has been playing Christmas music nonstop for us. It's been so nice. We have a mercury glass Christmas tree, and then I had like a brainwave in the middle of the night to put pink candles in my red candlesticks, and I'm so happy with this this year. So. I like to have candlelight and try and make dinners special, even though it's just the two of us and we're just here. California's back in lockdown, so that's the situation. I try to make our dinners a little more special. I have these little bells on the backs of the dining room chairs. I don't know, just festive. This is a simple tablecloth, like a wipe clean vinyl tablecloth, but I love the red plaid. And Nate was so sweet and brought me flowers yesterday. I asked him if he'd be embarrassed if I left the card in there, but he said it would be okay. So I have to brag about how cute he is. And this did a beautiful job with this Christmas bouquet. He said he told them to do something Christmassy with red roses. And I think they nailed it. So, so gorgeous. So that has been making me very happy. And then in here, I have another poinsettia some fake plants. We have our stockings hung on the entertainment center with care. I always have my fireplace going on Netflix. There's a cotton garland 
along there. And then the star of the show, our Christmas tree. We got this tree last year in a vlog. It's just an artificial tree from Walmart, but it's like really nice and big. This year I have a new topper on it. It's like a starburst from hmm, Crate and Barrel, I think. And so many of these ornaments are special. There's ones for Nate that are comic superheroes. There's tons of ones for me that are pink or reindeer, I love reindeer. Sentimental ones that we got each other. We have our childhood ornaments on here. It's really just kind of a hodgepodge, but I like having a variety of things that are meaningful. So a lot of these are gifts from friends I made here on YouTube that's really, really special. Some absolute treasures. Plenty of Cinderella. <laughs> it's a Wonderful Life. That's Nate's favorite ornament, or favorite movie. I don't know if it's his favorite ornament. Um, but yeah, it's just, it doesn't have a specific theme, but I feel like it kind of coordinates because there's so much pink. <laughs> because that's what happens when I get things that I love. They tend to match because they tend to be pink. So, just trying to give you guys like the quick preview here. I made that ornament last year. I think I vlogged that. Typewriters, have a few of those. And yeah, the fun just, the fun just goes on and on. I really love it. I used this like pink, kind of like rose gold beaded garland this year. And the thing that I have to have is tinsel. I probably don't have a pet cat because I love tinsel so much. So unfortunately, Nate hates tinsel. Like he thinks it takes away from the ornaments. And so we discuss this every year. Finally this year, he's like, you know what? This is just the one thing that you can't compromise on, I guess. <laughs> it's like, it's true. I try to compromise on like everything in our house. Like we have Batman in the corner and everything, but I love my tinsel. And you know what? I do compromise because this is only one package of tinsel. If I had it my way, I'd probably use three packages. Like love tinsel. <laughs> so, it's still a compromise. That's important. Um, but he's very, very good sport to let me have my tinsel. I think it's so cute and retro and I just think it brightens up the tree so much. So it's one of my favorite parts. It's so shimmery and festive. And then we have some gifts, but I'm going to be honest and have a confession. Only that gift and that gift are actually gifts. Those are from my aunt. Everything else is empty bags with tissue that I just like to have something out under the tree even while we're still kind of getting our gifts together for the year. So there's that. Then we have our window seat here. This is a little cozy blanket, cozy garland, a couple of Christmassy books. This is full of fun crafts and activities from Christmases of yore. Very cool. And that is a book my dad would read to us every Christmas Eve, so it's very special to me. And then along this window, I have lots of fake candles and my little ceramic tree collection. I love ceramic trees. Hope to have a huge collection one day, but these are the ones I've gathered over the years. Got my cute little snowmen, my little vintage reindeer, and nostalgic trees. And then in this corner, we have the cutest little Santa pillow. I'm a sucker for any Santa with peak cheeks. I just think that's adorable. And hanging on this door to the balcony is another wreath that I made. Same thing, just tinsel garland and ornaments. And it also lights up and it's also out of batteries. <laughs> so just a wreath for now, but the, like the battery pack is hiding down here. So I need to refill that. And then this cozy scene brought to you by DC is the best little cuddler ever. He's so tucked in there. And DC is modeling our couch. I have a few different white pillows and our cuddle weather plaid pillow. And on this side table, I put this adorable Christmas tray, Santa tray. Love it. I have this little candle that has been very special to light in the mornings. It's a wood wick candle, so it sounds wonderful. And it smells like a Christmas tree. So I do my little journaling and I burn that candle and I have very cozy Christmas mornings. And here we have another candle. This is my just like cotton garland candle wreath I use every year. But this candle is called Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works and it smells like a Christmas explosion. 
Like, uh, I almost would think that the scent was like a bit much, but I just love it. It smells like you walked into a Christmas shop, Santa's workshop. It just, it's all the Christmas smells dumped into one candle. So good. And then this matchbook, matchbox, I have a few around. I saw in that vintage Christmas book I was just showing you that a fun little craft is to make Christmas matchboxes. So it's very simple. Just put like an old tiny picture on the box and glue it on. And then I covered it with Mod Podge and I just thought those turned out cute to kind of keep around. In the old days it'd be for like smoking, people smoking at your party. But for me it is for all the candles everywhere. <laughs> and I made a few for friends and stuff too so that was a fun craft. I've been doing so many crafts, that's my craft corner, it's a mess, <laughs> but this is my cozy spot in the evenings and I have the best smelling reed diffuser with, um, I think it's the Times Christmas tree scent. I have these cute cozy winter scene coasters. I have another matchbox that I made. And I have, look at this, have you guys seen this? This was one of my favorite things. It's a little pink log cabin and it's an incense burner. So with this, you just light this little incense cone and this incense smells like a Christmas tree. And then once that's all lit and smoking, you put the little house back on it. Obviously, you wanna monitor it closely. <laughs> But how adorable is that, that the little thing of smoke is coming out the chimney now? And it smells so good. That is just the cutest thing. I actually was reading an article, an interview with Jane Lynch, and she described that she had one of these and it was her favorite Christmas decor. And I was like, I have never heard of that. And then I found it at this little Christmas shop in Solvang, California, which is north of LA. It's like in wine country, it's really pretty. And that's also where I got this calendar. <laughs> this candle, which is an advent calendar. And so each day you light it for a little bit and the candle burns down through the number of the day until you get to Christmas. And I just thought that was so charming. Such a fun notion since I love all things advent calendars. And I have this candle holder from the thrift store. I love these candle holders that have a little handle and you can like walk through your house with it as if it were the 1800s and that is just really fun. So this is my cozy corner in the evenings. I do my Christmas crafts and everything smells so good and everything is so twinkly. It just is Christmas joy. And then continuing the rounds in here, we have Nate's display case full of all his Batman figurines, statues. And I always put little Santa hats on all of them every year. It makes me so happy to see these cute little here, let's see them better. See these little Batman and all their action poses, rocking Santa hats. I even put a little Christmas garland on Batman's horse, because yes, Batman has a horse. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> but yeah, the display's not complete until I do that. And then he also has his little baby Yoda, and baby Yoda also needed a Santa hat. This is actually DC's Santa hat, and it is so cute on DC. I will have to show you that at some point, but in the meantime, much to DC's relief, it's on Baby Yoda. Wanna say hi? I don't really know how to do this. This is Nate's expertise. I might have to get him to help us, but it's super cute. And then I just have this little pillow door hanger on there. And I think that's it. Oh, the only other thing in this room is this garland. I like Christmas decor made out of paper. Reminds me of childhood and like fun crafts. So I have this sparkly gold garland around all the doors in here as well. And then we'll just go in the bedroom really quick. I didn't do a ton in here, but of course I have more twinkle lights <laughs> along the dresser. And then I have my little pink like rose gold reindeer. And the fireplace is going. And I have my pink sparkly Santa. I love him so much every year my house plant Jarax and he has lights on him. I think he needs some ornaments on him too actually. And then the other thing is this is my vanity corner and I decided it needed its own Christmas tree. So we have a very festive pink tree in here with red and white and silver ornaments and a little pearl garland 
and it has lights on it too, and the battery is dead on them too. <laughs> so I can't show it to you lit up, but it's really cute to have it lit up. I like to just hang out in here with just the Christmas lights on. And then around the tree, I put some really, really special gifts that I got this year that just make me so happy. And some favorite lipsticks. <laughs> we all know those make me so happy. And none of this, oh, well, that's Christmassy. I have my little May Your Days Be Merry and Bright sign. I have my favorite, it's one of my favorite perfumes of life, Trish McAvoy number nine. But especially for Christmas time, that's when my mom would always wear it. And let's see, I have some Christmas reads going. <laughs> of course, I think all my reading is on a theme right now, but the Christmas jars, this is from a friend. A wedding in December, this is from a friend. A Christmas Carol. I don't know if you guys remember, I read Pride and Prejudice in this format and it had recipes all throughout it. And this is another version. And this is so pretty how they designed these. So I had to pick this up for a nice festive Christmas read and it comes with recipes in it. So that's really cool. And then I also have a December issue of House and Garden from what year? From the year 1955, which was the year Disneyland opened. I love reading old magazines and looking at the ads. They are hilarious. <laughs> so good. We could do a whole vlog of enjoying the humor of old magazines. But I just thought this one would be fun to have out since it's Christmas. So that's my themed holiday reading. And <laughs> I just, I can't read or craft enough in the Christmas season. That's like all I want to do. And then coming into my restroom, there's not too much Christmassy in here, except my favorite ceramic tree that I have. It's so pretty. It is pink with like neon pink, almost red bulbs and same color star. I just love that piece so much. It was thrifted and such a special part of my little collection. I don't think it's really vintage or anything. I just really like the look of it. Goes in my exceptionally pink powder room. <laughs> and then for hand soaps in here, I have the spruce scent from Bath & Body Works. It smells like a Christmas tree. And then Christmas cocoa mint. Smells like an Andes mint. So nice. And I also have the candle with that. So just a couple little touches in here. And last but not least, I'll take you around the corner here into my office. I have one of my favorite little wreaths on this door. This one's from Target and it's just so cute. And things are changing a little bit in here because Nate and I are sharing this room more. So that's been an adjustment, speaking of compromise, but obviously in the year 2020, we're both working from home and yeah, I need to share my space. So we are working on that and I might not compromise on tinsel, but I can compromise on office space. So anyway, stay tuned for how this all works out. But you never thought you'd see a sword in the offices of Milk and Honey, but there it is. <laughs> um, and so there's not like a ton of Christmas stuff in here, but well, there is because this is my advent calendar shrine. And this is very much needing to be shared because I love advent calendars and I have a friend who loves advent calendars and we both, oh, I was gonna say hoarded, we both collected all of the calendars we could and shared them with each other so that we can do our advent calendars today, together every day. And it's just been so much fun. So I thought you and I could do these together in a moment. Um, but over here, I also have some sweet cards from friends, my little Merry Christmas sign. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is a countdown. I forgot and I already did it for today, so let's hear for tomorrow. A new day! This month is just flying by. Oh, have you got your Christmas list made out? <laughs> so cute. I love it. So, today is the 8th. There are 17 days till Christmas. So let's talk about this advent calendar situation. I know it's excessive by most people's standards, but we are having so much fun with it. This calendar right here is by Mary Kay. So it's like classic beauty. So, so fun. Let's take out day eight. I don't know if I can do this one handed. I love how it's all pink and red. It's so girly and fun. And I hadn't tried a lot of Mary Kay products. So this has been amazing. What is this? Ooh, 
it's a lipstick gel semi shine. Oh my gosh, what color is it? That's amazing. These advent calendars are so cool. I've gotten so many great products out of these. Oh, I'm excited. I've never tried a Mary Kay lipstick. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. What's it called? Naturally Buff Chamois. Chamois. <laughs> that's gorgeous. I'm so excited to try a new brand of lipstick for me. A new old classic brand. Let's see how it closes. We care about this. Pretty good. Pretty good click. Oh, really good click. Okay, hold on. Yes, that's a win. <laughs> and then this one is from Anthropology. That's probably one of my top favorite stores in the world. I love them. And then this one's from Trader Joe's. And this one is from Scentsy. And that one is Princess Socks. So I'm kind of pacing them out through the Christmas season and it has been extremely joyful. So let's do the Anthropology one for today. So cute. This one goes all the way to Christmas Eve. And let's do this, number eight. Look at the gingerbreads. I love seeing how these are designed, like how all the boxes fit together. So cool. Ooh, <gasps> I love this perfume. This is so good. This is one of the best vanilla perfumes. They sell it at Anthropology. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful little bottle of it. Oh my gosh, I need to text my friend because we, share these treasures every day oh what a good day oh my gosh you guys should treat yourselves to some advent calendars more fun than chocolate beauty supplies <laughs> this one's kind of budget friendly the socks ones are so much fun and that could be cute also for a gift idea to get for a guy because guys are so hard to shop for so yeah i am pro advent calendar <laughs> sorry this is the only place i can prop you but let's try this perfume on I know you can't smell it, but oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so sugary and edible. And that's a good way to smell, I must say. My husband especially loves like bakery type of scents. So, oh, that's so nice. I feel transported into Santa's cookie workshop. <laughs> so fun, oh my gosh. And then I just swatched this lipstick for you. See if you can see, it's a really pretty, kind of like a nude coral or like a nude peach. This lighting is awful. Don't know if you can see it, but I think that's really pretty. And then I like that it has a semi shine because I'm not a huge matte lipstick fan. This lipstick I'm wearing is Marc Jacobs from their Very Cherry Christmas collection, which I am obsessed with. So. Yay for lipstick and perfume and advent calendars. And you finally having seen all of my decor for this season. Okay, I just had to come back through and give you the dimmed lights tour of Christmas. I think it's the coziest thing in the winter. Like the sun goes down so early and then all these little glowy lights just make me so happy. So I have this doorway that you saw and this room. <laughs> I mean, it is so bright. Like you could just read in here by all of the twinkle lights. So that makes me a very, very happy girl. And of course the Christmas tree and the little lights in the window. It's just ultimate coziness. I hope you enjoyed. I will try to post more. I know I'm not doing a full vlogmas, but I will try to post as much as I can during this special season. I think we all need a little Christmas like more than ever this year. It's been a very, very rough year. So all of the Christmas warmth and joy and spirit and happiness and coziness to you and yours. <laughs> and I will try and share more and check in more. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. I think we might do some Christmas crafts in the next video, hopefully. I need to go get dinner out of the oven, but I love you guys. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.